Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, make him miss you like crazy, crazy. Ah! <laughs> Is that what crazy is? Uh, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, and uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. I shoot three videos a week, plus I do now a YouTube Live once a week on Fridays at two o'clock uh, Pacific Coast time. All right, we're gonna talk about how to make a man miss you like crazy. So, it's interesting. Uh, ladies, I, I know most of you who watch my videos uh, are either wing, women single and looking for love or those of you already in relationship. Okay, so that's the, that, I mean, is there really anyone else? I mean, what I'm trying to say is most of the time it's rare that a woman who is happy in relationship is going on to YouTube to find answers, right? So you're coming here to learn a different perspective and maybe even shifting your own perspective. And I hope if you've been following my channel, it's making a difference. I, I recently had a client post a picture. She says she does her weekly binges of Jonathan's videos uh, once a week at the same time. And I'm very honored to uh, hear that. And if you are a binge watcher, please do me a favor, post a comment below. I'd like to know. But what I want to lean into today, leaning in, you guys know that I'm big on leaning in. I'm not a big fan of leaning back or feminine energy or masculine energy. And, and before I share this one thing to make you miss you crazy, I want to share with you why I'm not a fan of those labels. Okay, so let me just be clear that masculine energy tends to be what we call doing and feminine energy is receiving. Okay, that's the basic gist of it. And this is where the idea of polarity comes in. It's like the yin and yang sign and that there need, a relationship needs polarity. But here's the challenge with the, the rhetoric around feminine energy is the reality is as human beings are both doers. Matter of fact, most human beings are doers and they're terrible at receiving. Most humans are terrible at receiving men and women alike. So when this idea of shifting into receptive mode, just understand, and a lot of times you're being told, well, get out of your controlling behavior, get out of that negative masculine behavior. But what it's also saying is masculine behavior is negative. Masculine behavior is never negative, nor is fem. So masculine behavior in a woman is not negative, nor is feminine behavior in a man negative. But we judge and criticize them because of the label of masculine and feminine. So why not shift the narrative to just doing and being, just doing and being and being receptive to love? Because if you really want someone to go crazy for you, how to make him miss you like crazy? Well, simply this, be yourself, be yourself. Ultimately, if a person doesn't appreciate who you are, if they can't appreciate who you are, then, then the reality is, is it's, it's a weak foundation relationship. You don't have to, you have to, all you have to do is be yourself. Now, let me, the reason why I shot this video is really to dig deeper on the whole concept of missing. Because there's this misconception that men fall in love through missing a person. And that is nothing but a crock of shit. Ah, we don't fall in love when we miss someone. Now, we might feel anxious and feel scared and we need to fill the void really quickly when we miss someone. So maybe temporarily when you've taken space because you've been trained to lean back, let's just lean back, did my armpit show? Lean back <laughs> and wait for him to come to you. Yeah, he's coming to you from an anxious, needy place filling the space. And maybe he, yes, he genuinely misses you, but does that mean he really appreciates you? Temporarily filling the void only takes care of that little kid inside of us that's scared. And men are scared just like women are scared. This is why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? To help you with your own anxious attachment or your own avoidant attachment. And I invite you to buy this book for any man you're dating. In fact, I recommend all my books to any of the man you're dating. Because ultimately, and by the way, one of the chapters in my book is speak your truth, do it with kindness. Now, why this is so important is that there's another chapter that says, if it's sincere and from the heart, 
you can never say the wrong thing to the right person. And ladies, I find that most of you are like this. You're literally silent expressing yourself. And that's why they don't, I, I know the title is Miss You, but it's really the way, the reason why they don't appreciate you is because you're silent to your feelings. I want you to be yourself. Only the wrong guy is going to run away. Now, does this mean that you might have some issues? Absolutely. Could you be vomiting your feelings and creating anxiety in a relationship? Absolutely. But that might mean you're not the right person for him. So I want you to begin to do the work, do the inner work to shift oneself. This is why I recently ordered this book and I just started reading it. How to be an adult in relationships. Ladies, you all think you're great at it, but you're not any better than men. You just think you are. And men are just effing clueless altogether. So they think they're superior just because they have no clue. I'm, listen, I, I get so many messages from you, from ladies out there saying, I am the only person giving real advice. That's because it's only real in the sense that the fantasy way of dating doesn't work. This whole hierarchy based way of dating doesn't work. If you want to make a change in your life, then take charge of your relationship destiny. Because ultimately, when you're in a good place and you meet a man in a good place, you have a greater chance for success when two grown-ups, when two adults enter in relationships because they love on themselves, they have a greater chance of success in relationship. Is this sinking in? And if you need help vetting for emotionally mature men, that's what I do for a living. Check out a link to free discovery call with me. Uh, if you're single and looking for love, I can absolutely help prepare you to get the guy, to get the emotionally available man. That's my area of expertise. And if you're single and looking for love, schedule a call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. So I want to introduce you to, uh, I've shared this before, but my new pet, my new pet is Salty, Salty, after the nickname of Connor, my son who passed away. All of you know, say hi to Salty. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. This is my new pet. Um, really quickly, I hope you found value in this video. Please share your thoughts and comments below. I'd like to hear all your thoughts. And I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic job, a bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the microphone and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone or a pet or a teddy bear or a stuffed animal and give it a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Bye-bye now.